This year's CES 2021 was held virtually, and as per usual, Nvidia established themselves as the number one choice for gamers, with new products announced and updates to key technologies. First up in the live stream, we got to see some new games that will feature RTX ray tracing, expanding the lineup to 36 games. Next, with a staggering 75% of GeForce gamers playing competitive games and 99% of esports pros using a GeForce powered gaming system, it's great to see that Nvidia Reflex technology has now rolled out to seven of the 10 of the top competitive esports shooters, with both Overwatch and Rainbow Six Siege now added to the roster. NVIDIA Reflex helps gamers to get their lowest system latency between input and display, giving a competitive edge in games, requiring fast and precise reactions. If you'd like to know more about the technology, we have a previous video that you can watch and we'll add a link in the description for you. NVIDIA also announced more hardware to support Reflex technology, with five new monitors coming to market this year. Importantly, these now feature 1440p resolution versus previous models being only 1080p. We look forward to creating some content around these when they arrive. Next on the list was the latest addition to the Ampere desktop lineup, the RTX 3060. The 60 series GPUs have always been the ideal cards for 1080p gaming at 60 frames per second, and the new RTX 3060 continues that tradition, but now has the ability to have ray tracing with DLSS switched on too. The GPU itself has 3,584 CUDA cores, plus of course second gen RT cores and third gen tensor cores. It also offers a whopping 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, making a great investment as games begin to demand higher memory amounts. It launches in late February with an RRP of $329. You can check out our NVIDIA 30 series webpage for more information and we've popped that link in the description too. Nvidia then moved on to what is the fastest growing gaming platform in recent years, laptops. It's not hard to see why these have become more desirable recently. Just a few years ago, gaming laptops were bulky, heavy and hot with extremely poor battery life. Nvidia changed that with its Max-Q lineup. Now launching into its third generation with Ampere-powered 30 series graphics cards, Max-Q is a system-wide approach to deliver high performance in thin and light gaming laptops. Every aspect of the laptop, chip, software, PCB design, power delivery and thermals are optimized for power and performance. Third gen Max-Q technologies also use AI and new system optimizations to make high performance gaming laptops faster and better than ever. There are four technologies at play in Max-Q that work together to deliver this amazing performance. Let's take a quick look at each to see what they deliver. New AI-powered Dynamic Boost 2 automatically delivers the needed power between the GPU, GPU memory and CPU for a larger performance boost than ever before. The AI networks in Dynamic Boost 2 manage power on a per-frame basis, so your laptop is constantly optimising for maximum performance whilst you're gaming and creating. Whisper Mode 2 delivers a new level of acoustic control for gaming laptops. It's been re-engineered from the ground up and custom built into laptops at a system level. You pick your desired acoustic level and Whisper Mode 2's AI-powered algorithms manage the CPU, GPU, system temperatures and fan speeds to deliver great acoustics and the best possible performance. Resizable Bar is an advanced PCIe Express feature that enables the CPU to access the entire GPU frame buffer at once, improving performance in many games. NVIDIA DLSS delivers a massive performance boost at the same power by using the tensor cores to do AI rendering of the scene. It's the same impressive technology that's used in the desktop GPUs and provides a significant bump to the frame rate, especially in ray-traced games. 
So now we've seen the technologies behind Max-Q, let's take a look at the GPU lineup. NVIDIA announced three laptop GPU models. RTX 3060 is the current base model and is claimed to offer 90 frames per second gaming at 1080p and up to 30% more performance than the new PS5. RTX 3070 has been designed to take advantage of new 1440p displays that will finally be coming to laptops in greater numbers and will offer 90 frames per second in ultra settings at this resolution. That is seriously impressive. Then the flagship model will be the RTX 3080. This will be the world's fastest gaming laptop and will feature 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. It's claimed to offer over 100 frames per second with ultra settings and ray tracing with DLSS. Nvidia also revealed that over half of the new laptop models will feature 240 hertz screens, which combined with Nvidia Reflex will offer sub 20 millisecond gaming latency. We think you'll agree that these are pretty exciting times for gaming. One other point to note is for streaming. Most 30 series laptops will feature a webcam and microphone. So using Nvidia Broadcast, you will literally have everything you need to start streaming without having to invest in expensive hardware. But if it's not all about gaming for you, then don't forget that there's also RTX Studio for content creators too. Using the power of the Ampere architecture, RTX Studio delivers AI acceleration in top creative apps using dedicated drivers and tools. So whether you're rendering complex 3D scenes, editing high resolution video, or live streaming with the best encoding and image quality, 30 series GeForce RTX laptops offer up to five times the performance of the Pascal architecture. You can also render 8K raw footage and reduce encode times by up to 75%. Naturally, we're really looking forward to bringing you a more in-depth look at the new 30 series laptops and the RTX 3060 desktop GPU in the coming weeks. And if you want more information on any of the things that we've covered in this video, then we have dedicated pages for both desktop and laptop RTX 30 series, and we'll add those links in the description for you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for our follow-ups.